It's time for Q&A in the Kitchen. It's a podcast and YouTube series where tattoo artists and body piercer talk about some of the more common questions that are asked by those that collect tattoos and piercings. Brought to you by Skin Kitchen Tattoo in the Axiom Body Piercing Studio. So, uh, we're on the la- uh, second to the last episode of the second season, and we've got the usual crew here. I don't know if we've signed the contract for the second season yet. Though. Yeah, well, you know, we're done almost. We're, we're looking at it. We're I mean, going, we got to talk to our... Third. Meet up with the YouTube executives. we got to talk to our union. Yeah, we're going into the third here soon. Merry Christmas, guys. That's coming up, right? This episode yeah, here? Yeah, Christmas this should be right next week. Be, yeah, right before Christmas. Yeah. I'm Merry Jack. Christmas. Or right around Christmas. I, ta- or, I tattoo at Skin Kitchen. I'm That's Wesley. I own it. I work for him. I'm Jimmy. I work for him. That's Davo. He is he's the piercer the extraordinaire, master extraordinaire of Axiom. And the owner of the Axiom. He works for all of us. Right. So anyway. what are, what are we going to gab about today? Um, uh, This one comes from Wesley. Oh, no. Yeah. Long time viewer. <laughs> are we going to be allowed to, touch, are we gonna be allowed to like, say some of this on the air? Or? I had a client yeah. earlier this week that posed this question. Which, I know. Yeah, it I'm comes through me. But yeah. I thought it would be funny. And she's a good viewer, too. You're never yep. funny. Thank you for oh, watching. Yeah. Well, looking, anyway. Well, yeah. All right. So uh, basically what we're going to do is talk about whether or not these creams that claim, the claim they can remove tattoos work yeah also uh, i think we're going to talk a little bit about what is the proper way to have them removed yeah. and mm-hmm. what you should kind of look for we yeah. probably touched on some basic before episodes but it's good to revisit some of these yeah. things yeah. especially yeah. as things change yeah and as we learn or mm-hmm. fi- figure out things you know we want to yep. share it with you so yeah. oh gosh we yeah. used to use a belt sander to take them off now we're using lasers right. Right. yeah Jeez. heat up a spoon on the stove just <laughs> we, bite gone. on a piece of leather and just go for yeah, it man, bro we've come a long way baby. i mean brenda is gone man you don't want that on your arm anymore yeah. and that just says enda yeah <laughs> so um, just a nice sharp razor so, uh, how do you want to start that off? Are we talking about well, these abrasion uh, creams, or she? She. I've done a couple of cover-up tattoos, and she's got one on her chest that she wants to instead of covering up, maybe lighten up and get removed instead. Mm-hmm. Um, and she just out, on the way out from finishing up one session, she asked me, "Do you need those tattoo creams? Those removal creams? They were really work." And short answer to her at the point mo- moment was no. But I hadn't researched them in a couple of years, and mm-hmm. I thought I'd look into them. I did earlier this week and looked into them, and short answer is still no. Yeah. But uh, at least I took some time to understand yeah. right. sure. what the premise or the idea of how they're supposed to work right. is. And the reality is what I understand. It's just topical agents like a lotion. The, the tattoo is in the dermis. you got your three layers, and we're in the second layer where our ink is, the dermis. Mm-hmm. The epidermis is your outer layer. Dermis is under that, and then... You've got your subdermis fatty. or the, the one underneath that. Right. <laughs> but your topical layers just don't get down to that second layer where our ink's at. Um, a lot of them are used, we were talking, they use kind of an acoustic abrasion kind of thing where it kind of, mm-hmm. it can leave you with a scar. Yep. And yeah. it, it just basically kind of fades it a little bit. It's not going to get rid of it. It's nothing that you couldn't do yourself by going to the hardware store. Don't do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah do not. Don't do, not do, that. do that. Basically, from what I understand, I had a, uh, an artist working for me years ago, and he had a piece on his chest that he just hated. And at the time, I, d- I guess I don't really want to say the name of the product, but there was a product just being tossed all over the place about, hey, hey, mm-hmm. hey, remove your tattoo. So he got it, you know. I think I remember what you were talking about. Yeah, and um, basically what it was is it was this little uh, electric device, basically kind of like a little agitator. Oh, that one, yep. And then it came with basically like a uh, crystalline type of abrasive, like lava soap after you've Mm -hmm. lathered it. Oh, Jesus. And you basically use this agitator device to kind of drill and sand your skin off. Mm -hmm. Um. (laughs) No, no, thanks. no. Uh, you're gonna, you're at, at, at very least, you're gonna, you're gonna damage that skin to the point where it's never really gonna be the same. You could cause pigmentation issues there, where it's gonna be discolored. Uh, it's gonna be harder to tattoo, and even when you do tattoo it, that skin's gonna be scarred, and the mm-hmm. rest isn't, and yep. it's gonna cause a little bit of a. So yeah, um, yep. w- talk to me more about um, maybe. Uh, is there? There's another cream, like more of a chemical yeah, the, type of. The macrophage way was the other way I read. It's some so, so there's a kind of caustic, almost burning it off, yeah. but just the outer layers, like the ha- like nair, burning the hair yeah, off, but yep. but way worse. Yeah, yeah. mild. <laughs> and there's some others that other creams that have that sounds horrible. Um, yeah. claim to replace the microphages in your in your blood. And, and explain what those are. And um, so when you get tattooed, 
and you have you have uh, cells in your bloodstream called microphages, and they are there to remove impurities in your blood and your screen and your skin. Mm-hmm. They work with your blood to carry things into your blood system, go into your liver, and then poop them out. Whatever yeah. you don't need in your body, um, it does that when you get tattooed. Mm-hmm. It takes a lot of that ink away. A lot of that ink leaks out right after a fresh tattoo. The reason it stays is because. The pigment particles, a lot of them, are too big for the microphages. If you were to look under a microscope, some chunks of ink are bigger than the cells that are eating the small chunks. Of and stuff. is it true um, that the the microphages that uh, they do collect that ink, the smaller particles, and they do you know get them out the yep. other end? Um, I think. Uh, the way I understand it is the macrophages that are focusing on the pieces that are too big, they will surround it and keep it held there yeah. so it doesn't go out you know, and, and harm anything. Yeah. So it'll take what it can and get rid of it, yep. but, but the it rest of it, it'll there. just hold it there. It. And, and, it, and, it, it, and the way I understand it, um, it'll, it slowly does just kind of eat and peck away at that at, at some that degree. That might be the, the fading over the long term. Yeah, yeah and and along with UV. What, the first thing know. that comes to mind to yeah. me is everybody experienced it if you have a tattoo that's 20 30 years old yeah. the lines start to fuzz out they, a yeah, little they, bit yeah they relax a bit yeah and yeah. I, i'm wondering if the if they that's have the breakdown of that, that you know yeah, yeah they're eating away yeah. at that yeah. crispy yeah. edge so maybe of that so some of these fatty. creams yeah. ca- uh, claim to replace more microphages in your skin to help break those oh, down to boost that speed up uh, that yep. process now the reason that doesn't work years after you've got your tattoo already healed up is the microphages are still the same size. They're not going to eat the bigger particles that are already healed and in the skin. Right. And as we said before, topical agents just don't get down to that layer yeah, anyway. Well, so it's yeah, like, and see, that's the biggest question I have is why would they think any of this would work? Yeah. Well, you know, we're not going to abs- mm-hmm. – if you absorbed chemicals into your skin – we would all die on a regular yep. basis. Well, yep. and you do to yeah. a degree, you know, you do, abs- you know, yeah. your Some. skin does absorb, but it doesn't absorb in a way to where you're going to be able to get a chemical agent that is able to yeah. destroy a pigment in your skin to safely yep. pass through the yeah. your, your outer skin, layers of skin and get in there, walk- do the job, and then go away without... We'd just be walking around with blood pouring yeah, out I, of our If your skin's loose enough for that, be like that something cream to get razor. down to the tattoo, yeah. then I would only have to rub the ink on your skin to get the ink to stay in there if and, you know, absorbent. and I think that's a big or uh, for a lot of people, that's kind of a misunderstanding they have is that the, the tattoo is not on your skin. It's in it. Mm-hmm. It's in inside it. your skin. Mm-hmm. You're the only reason you're able to see that pigment is because <laughs> your your skin is somewhat translucent and you can mm-hmm. see through it. Mm-hmm. And that pigment is uh uh, different enough from your skin color that it creates Shows a contrast out. enough to where you can see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why you can make a yellow line and you really can't see it. You make a black line, it, it pops out, the mm-hmm. contrast, you know. So um, people, you know, don't understand that. Right. And, you know, quick again, you know, hold a newspaper behind a piece of glass and you can read it. The mm-hmm. more you tint that glass, the yes, harder it's going it. to get to read right. and the more the letters aren't as crisp. Yep. It's the same thing with skin. Yep. Yeah. You know, the lighter and crispier and redheaded and bright right. and glowy mm-hmm. you are, yep. man, you the might as well have batteries because the color is just going to jump. And mm-hmm. we have talked about this before, yeah. how even like uh, arm hair reflects light. Ab- yes, absolutely. Um, dry uh-huh. skin because you have yeah, yep. little tiny particles of dry skin on the top. That's why it looks ashy. Like exfoliate, right man. I tell yeah. you, know, it might. I tell you, you know, you spend so much money and time on, you know, you sit in that chair for hours and hours. And on top of that, you spend good money that you worked hard for to get this, to get this beautiful canvas um, wrapped around you. And why not? Why not to yeah. take, yeah. you know, to you know, uh, shave your arm, especially in the summer. You know, every mm-hmm. uh, probably two or three times a summer. You know, I'll I'll knock the hair off my arms, and man, it always is just like it's almost brand new. Yep. You know, it's just so things bright, pop. And, and then if you exfoliate a bit, you just kind of scrub your arms a bit, and yeah. then you mm-hmm. get you know a little lotion on there. Man, your tattoos will look so good, and it's you'll like be so much more happy car. with them. You know, really, you kind of rediscover them a bit and go, you know, these are pretty freaking rad. Yeah, you know, that's, that's yep. why so it, it helps. You know? you know, if I'm taking a photo for you guys and it's an older tattoo, that's the first thing I I go when you go, yep, you want to put some Luberderm on that? Yeah, yeah, yep. absolutely. Let's, let's, let's moisten yeah. that up a yeah. little bit. Yeah, get the loofah. You know, yeah. get a good a loofah up. on it. Get a buff Grab it hard. Yeah, just yeah. keep those just get keep those loofahs away from your piercings because they are evil. Yeah. Oh my god, they grab my nipple rings so every morning. Horrible. Yeah, I gave up on those years ago. 
go. No, no. no. So uh, there's no way your chemical is going to go into your skin that deep, destroy this pigment, and leave you no. just happy. Especially not, apparently. not consistently. Yep. So um, lasers are really the best yep. reliable place. Right? Yep. They're the only consistent thing that's been around for a while. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they've mm -hmm. gotten way better than they used gotten to be. Gotten way better. They're a whole lot more easier for a train technician to operate to one. actually use and not damage um, you right. yep exactly and i put the tattoos on i don't remove the tattoos <laughs> through a couple of couple of youtube videos that i watched myself there's a channel called smarter every day we've talked about yeah. and he this guy destin we're unaffiliated with that channel but he does a really awesome tattoo removal um interview with a, a technician and we'll and try they, to we'll try to put a card up or yeah uh, link put a link in they the do a little a really detailed explanation on how tattoo laser removal actually works mm -hmm. how it, like down to the molecules mm -hmm. of what they're explaining how the laser heats up molecular pig or the pigments the molecules in the pigment and break them apart so Blast. that those yeah they, they it hits it hard so it breaks it apart into smaller chunks of pigment so, so that those what? microphages can there you go can go and through and eat them, them and take them away yeah it's just like you know you have a bunch of workers who are standing there but they're looking at this gigantic rock yeah yeah and they're like all of us can't even you get bring that. in your laser hammer but smash you come the rock. in with the equipment and start chipping away at it oh yep. yeah you know yep. pretty soon bang bang yep. bang 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 i had a lot of i had my whole left forearm laser uh, <coughs> treated twice mm -hmm. um which was enough to get it you know redone and uh, it f flipping hurts, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it sucks. Like, well, you're getting burned, basically. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's you know, controlled yeah. burns. It's and I tell oh, yeah. people the way it felt, and this was ten plus years ago. Oh. It wasn't a pico laser or whatever, which I think is kind of the the I neat one now. Yep. But uh, she did a great job. But in black pigment, does remove easier than a lot of the colors mm -hmm. do, and mine was all black. But. Uh, uh, it, what I tell people is it feels like, you know, like when you're frying bacon mm -hmm. in yeah. that gr grace, that's yeah. bam, little, it hits you. Little, yep. It's like that, but it's ta -ta 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 off, too. Yeah. So, you know, my whole forearm, the removal took maybe eight to ten minutes. The mm -hmm. tattoo, you know, <laughs> took 15 <laughs> hours, yep, you yeah. know. Right. So, I mean, it is fast. It's intense, but you can suck it up. And, again, yeah. those uh, they, may, they have topical pain, mm -hmm. you know, management. And you can use that as well. Yep. So we can conclude that everything to do with tattooing, putting them on, taking them off, all hurts. Yeah. yeah. It's brutal. <laughs> it hurts a little bit. It's, 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 it's brutal. You it know, is. it's it a is. brutal I'm thing. And uh, No, but yeah, but really it is. And that's the whole, our job is mm -hmm. to make it as unbrutal and as enjoyable Absolutely. as it can be. And uh, as clean and safe. But right. at the end of the day, yeah, I mean, we're, yeah, we sharpened some metal stuff and we're jamming at India to make a neat yeah. picture. <laughs> well, I, while I love how much our industry grow, has grown, I would say both of, whether cream or laser point removal, mm. um, it points out how important it is to make sure you like what you're getting forever. Yeah. Removing yeah. them, whether it's a cover-up, which is a hassle to do, uh -huh. or getting it laser removed, which is a hassle and yeah. painful and expensive. Think you know, before you eat. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't have to get Brenda removed. And research your artist. Absolutely. And Absolutely. with the removal on the laser, I think there's kind of two methods you can go, and that's completely trying to remove it. In some cases, depending on the pigment, it won't go all the way down. Yeah. It won't get back to normal tissue. Mm -hmm. The other method is, is basically reducing how impactive that particular piercing is, or piercing tattoo is, yeah. and then covering it. Yeah. yeah. Just lighten it up. Yeah, um, it, it, when I was getting mine done, there were certain lasers that worked better on certain colors because of the wavelength mm -hmm. and how the you yeah. know how science works. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, now I don't I don't know much about the Pico other than that, I've heard uh, great things. That yes. YouTube video he kind of goes in and explains okay. why certain colors work better because right. you have to the, turn the temperature up certain degrees right. for the lasers. And yeah, so black cool. it's 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 got such a high contrast it reacts with the laser really mm -hmm. well. Um, oranges, yellows, reds, um, yep. those. Can be remember tricky. Correctly, they have different color, like um, filter tips. Yeah, I think he said it in the video. It changes the wavelength. Exactly. Yeah. Target yeah. different colors. So black tattoos way easier to remove. Mm -hmm. uh, color tattoos could take several passes with several different filters mm -hmm. or whatever right. to remove those certain colors. Yep. But the great thing is, is oranges, yellows, even a lot of times reds and stuff. If it's if you don't like the tattoo, it probably doesn't look good, and mm -hmm. it probably doesn't look good because it's faded anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. So those blacks and blues and purples, those are really the ones that are jumping off. So if you can knock those down pretty good, it's gonna yeah. make it depending on where, it, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, or, right. or, or just kind of be gone, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, really, yeah. it'll, it'll kind it of fade off yep. depending on where it is, you know, but. And I do see a trend um, of tattoo artists and I use that with the uh, parentheses. Air quotes. Um, 
are going out and taking a day long course to become yeah. laser removal technicians. No man, I have a job already. Yeah, I don't. I the thing about it is is laser removal usually is cheaper than doing a tattoo. If you're looking at a quarter sleeve yeah. at 125 to 200 dollars an hour, yeah. you could have close to a thousand dollars invested True. easily in a sleeve. Um, laser removal, the last couple times I've looked at it, they either quote by the size or they quote by the period. And I want to say it's not even a tenth that. So, really? it, yeah. It, it's come down a bunch then. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, that was, it was like, you know. It's way more expensive for a long time. Getting your freaking grill but golded out back yeah, in the day. It was, crazy. But it was technology almost is getting cheaper. And yeah. And, but and a tattoo know, shop can get certified to learn it, so maybe there's a reason that yeah I can yeah, see it coming down. It might I'd be getting easier and all, that. and that's that's yeah, great. That's I just you know, but th it comes down to the consumer and how much do they care about what kind of service they get. Well, they can look into go oh how, what kind of training did you do? Oh, this guy online I watched a video, certified <laughs> me, gave me this thing, I laminated, it didn't look neat, have a seat. And he or, also let, I can I marry you from too. YouTube tech. Yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly. So you know, yeah, you know, it all comes down to research. Know what you're getting into. You know, it, it's worth looking into it's your freaking body you know and the reason i brought a price is that a tattoo artist has a potential to make that kind of money is taking their time to do removal right they're eh, probably not that great to begin with yeah, that well, depends on the business set up uh, their prices yeah to make it efficient sure. for them to do it yeah 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 i guess um if i had you know if i had a choice whether uh, putting them on or taking them off i definitely want to put them on mm -hmm. Me too. and um if i had maybe spare time where I wasn't putting them on and I needed to fill that with something, then yeah. I might look at removal. Uh, thank God I'm lucky enough now to where even if I wanted to do removal, I'd have to take time away from tattooing. And I, I'm yeah, I, I'm not interested enough in taking them off to no. take time away from me putting them on. You know, it'd be like me doing... Uh only piercing removals, like only removing dermals <laughs> yeah, at 20 yeah, bucks right. a head and just having them out yeah. the door yeah. all day long for yeah. that to make that $20 for, you know, 20 minutes of work. Yeah. doesn't make any I sense. Mean, I imagine if, it, if we had one here, it was a thing we were doing. I, I can't speak for other businesses, but I imagine we'd probably just stick with the same hourly rate, whether you're putting it on, taking it off. Yeah. It's but it's started. so much faster and the cost is so much higher that you really, uh, that's tough because those lasers well, I, are I was so speaking expensive. From a, yeah. From the it, perspective of the artist wing, do I do it, put them on or take them off? Which one pays me yeah. better? If I'm charging the same hourly rate and it takes me 20 minutes or an hour or whatever, I'm still charging the same hourly rate. Yeah, I'm not really making more or less for whatever time I've spent on removal. True. And, but and I guess again, that's just had, different from business Yeah, to business. if you had clientele enough to where you could just bang yeah. through and get 30 to 50 or 60 yep. bucks a person, yeah, um, yeah, then yeah. And I'm not sure what the regulations are. Yeah, maybe because maybe. that's borderline. It's going to change. We talk about it's going to be different. I think different states, right? Is it yeah. Gonna, yeah. And so, if you are considering it, check uh, with your local state yeah, uh, Department sure. of Health, whatever Just like they're called. Tattoo artists shop around through a few different yeah, people who have homework. laser removals yeah. and see who's got the five stars and why they're certified for that five. Fifth yeah, star. and check out their portfolio. Look Absolutely. Yeah. And Ask I really, I here. really do believe that going to a medical office is probably going to be a better option for you. It can be. Um, it, it's so hard to tell, you know, these you can walk so into hard. these places and it's, you know, all shiny and there's a white lab coat mm -hmm. and everything else. And they're just a guy or a girl or somebody yeah. trying to make a living. And, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't really matter. You know, yeah. it, it doesn't matter what the science is over the door. You know, you got to go and do, ask your questions and everything else, because it's like and the reason I say that is because, you know, at least at a tattoo shop or something like that, you know that we love tattoos. Yeah. You know that that's what we do. It's uh, how mm -hmm. we eat, sleep, breathe it. Um, a, a medical office, uh, they just, uh, I, I don't know if they have that same level of um, it's the understanding or care. It's the crossover experience. Yeah. And, um, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah. And um, I just think that they're going to, I'm not against them being in a tattoo I, I, shop eventually. I Doctors, a lot of times, they kind of have a stigma against tattoos. So if one comes yeah, in, it looks a little rough. They're like, oh, we got to scrub it. Yep. And we got to put you on uh, antibiotics. And we yeah, got to do yeah. all this stuff. So, you know, Whereas we'll that's, look at it and say, that's it's just the reason I say. Your arm just needs shaded with some lotion. And we'll tell yeah, you, it's yeah. not that Here's bad. the thing, though. If you if you are not doing it, doing it correctly, you can cause, like, third-degree burns. On oh, yeah. so, Ooh, so yeah. that's the part that here's I would be my, concerned about. Here's Absolutely. my thought here. 
if you're not doing a piercing correctly, you can hurt somebody. And it, it's a medical procedure yeah. Yeah. that you've learned how to do. Yeah. yeah, no, don't call it a medical procedure. But it's <laughs> already been investigated for practicing medicine that's fair, without a license twice. Not a medical <laughs> procedure, but it is a, you're doing yeah. a, pro- a, it is a, a procedure. surgical. Well, you guys it's are probably too. more accurate. But you've been trained on it. Yeah. And I wager, I, I know more about piercings than laser removal. I'm just, I'm but just, I wager there's a lot more knowledge in your field oh, yeah. than somebody who can pick up a I'm laser and be trained on it in a day. If sure. it's going to fall along sure. the same size like electrolysis. Like you yeah. go into the place, you get know. a foot Maybe massage, so, yeah. well, heady, and, and it, they remove your tattoo. And yep. I think it matters. Um, like the first uh, result of a ta- uh, laser removal I saw was way back in the first shop I worked in, back in the 90s in Arizona. They were horrible. And this woman came That's in. That's when I first saw and, them. Yeah. And she wanted, you know, uh, get something else or something, or she was a tattoo. And uh, she mentioned something about she had a tattoo and got it removed. And I'm like, what? oh, you did? How? And she's like, oh, laser removal. It was on her calf, or was on her calf. I swear, if you've seen Nightmare or uh, Freddy Krueger's face, mm. it's it was Freddy. Victim. It yep. was like a chunk of Freddy Krueger's face, like uh. grafted onto her calf. And it, she was like, "Yeah, my husband didn't like it," and blah blah blah. And I'm like, "Does he, he like the scar? that?" Yeah. Well, back in the day, they only right? had the one kind of laser, and it well, would hit right. you, and it would so, blister her up. Mm-hmm. So this is a, so well, that's what I'm getting at. So, um, and then uh, you'd see pictures of these big blisters oh, and horrible. water blisters and and scars and bleeding and just these horrific things. So uh, now when you now you zip up to 2020, yeah. uh-huh. and you and and the and the information comes across to your brain of oh yeah, there, you can just take a, a day course or a week course, and you can start doing that. It, it does set off some bells, but you're right. Things have gotten better. They've gotten mm-hmm. easier to use. They've gotten right. safer. Um, and it probably is relatively easy mm-hmm. to yeah. do. It, you know, it probably yeah, is. Sure. There might, you know, there's probably safety measures in there where it's way harder to, but like we can scar the crap oh, out of yeah. somebody. Yeah, you know, you we can, can really drill a hole damage. into somebody. And it's probably going to be the same with that laser. But the likelihood of doing that is probably a lot less than it was 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. um, you know, the technology is better and it's probably less likely to mess you up. But it is worth, I think commenting on it does, you know, I, I'm only commenting from this tiny little perspective. I don't know a lot about it. I haven't taken the course. I don't know anybody who has. Yeah, right. I haven't seen the results. Nothing. Uh, but, yeah, I, being around it from the kind of get go when it started and then f- hearing that it just takes a day course is a little bit uh, shocking. Yeah. But yeah. it yeah. probably is Fine. Yeah. I learned how to drive a car kind of like in the same time. Say what? You can learn get a license to drive a car, and it's about the same amount of time, right. basically. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Like I said, you it's can just also you can also get a license to uh, do cosmetic tattooing in the yeah. state of Iowa in the same amount of time. So it, it's yeah. shocking, but it's We've kind of comparable the of to that. many other things yeah. in our society. That's why. Knowing about your artists, looking at their portfolio, talking to people that have experienced their service, all of that is so freaking important. I know back when I was getting my first tattoos, before I was in it, um, I thought if it said tattoo of the door, they could just do whatever you wanted. It was just... They're all the same. They're mm-hmm. just a guy. They yeah. got the the thing. Oh, little dude. Here, do no. this, monkey boy. <laughs> you know, it, it, it you know, didn't even occur to me. And, uh, and I can't blame anybody else for kind of thinking that, too. Right. But, oh, man, don't. don't. <laughs> oh, don't. That's a very wrong. Oh, man. You know, especially now, it's so hard. Uh-huh. You know, back in the day, there was like one place to choose yeah. from within four hours. That's you know? usually why you got yeah. that crappy. Right. right. Exactly. exactly. Now available. there is just so many of us, you know, mm-hmm. out there that it really really more now than ever it really pays to just look at what you mm-hmm. want done and how good are they and i try not to act surprised when customers come in because i'm you know i get it tattoo removal you would ask a tattoo guy i get it You're right but i can it shocks me sometimes because i'm like i i don't you know it's like a motorcycle salesman yeah hey man do you know where i can get a car like mm, a car dealership because i sell motorcycles yeah, I, yeah i don't you know yeah. i put tattoos on i don't remove them i don't yeah and yeah i can yeah, kind of you know? well in mm-hmm. if if i was just you know, a, a guy or girl out there, and I had a tattoo I wanted gone, I'd start a tattoo shop, too. Yeah, Me, too. Because, um, they, yeah, obviously, you know. at one point, Absolutely. one of their clients is at least. Yeah, I mean. And we used to refer to a, a surgical, or not surgical, plastic surgery yep. guy. Yeah. Yep. And then yeah, he went out of business or whatever. Yeah, I don't know yeah and that's where I got that. mine done um, at a place here locally years and years ago that's no longer there. Um, but just forgive your artists if they act a little shocked, because, you know what I mean? It's like. Yeah. I hey, mean, how do I take this off? Like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. But it, yeah. It <laughs> but at the same time, you really shouldn't be that shocked. I no, mean, not anymore. Yeah. Who back else the are day, they going to call? Who, well, who else are they going to ask? Now it's more prevalent. But back in the day, yeah. like it would, 
it would take me by surprise 20 years ago. I'm like, what? You came to a tattoo shop to figure out how to get rid <laughs> take of it off? Yeah. Like, huh? Yeah, we go the other way. We're yeah. 180. We're putting yeah. them on. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, it's changing. A lot of oh, shops yeah. and, you know, are doing some form of removal, it seems, and yeah, it's getting more common. And, and that's, that's, I mean, that's great. Because yeah. you know what? Um, if that didn't exist, then. There is a there is a, a finite amount of skin out there. Right. But if you can erase it and I can and tattoo the same chunk, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, man. bring it on, that's man. Good. That's a, that's not a hurt, hurting anything. Yeah. I mean, sweet. You yeah. know. So you got and, that arm lasered and up you know, and then at the same right over. at the same time that also benefits us in the fact that the scary thing about a tattoo is that it's so permanent. Mm-hmm. But anymore. if it gets easier and easier and easier to take them off, more and more people are going to be like, oh yeah, I'll get it, and I could always just get it mm-hmm. right scrubbed or zapped yeah. or whatever that's right. going to be the thing um so it really it only benefits us as long as it's being done safely Absolutely. and you know mm-hmm. it's and not hurting people. since you've been through the process what type of aftercare did it involve what you know what that's that? very interesting and this is only my experience okay. and this like i said this was 20 years ago and i'm sure things are different but um when i got it done the first time uh, she recommended i keep it wrapped and i keep lotion on it and you know i kind of keep it bandaged for a while and all that stuff and man, the healing was just awful. Yeah, it was That's painful. It was sore. It was worse healing than a healing bar. a tattoo. It was really, really bad. So the second time I went in, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to heal this like I heal a tattoo because it's a der- it's a you know mm, it's an abrasion. Yeah, it's about you know about as much trauma as you mm-hmm. would if you sat there for a while getting tattooed. So I'm like, you know what? I'm doing the heal like I, I and it healed so much better. Yeah, so much easier. Way less pain. It's almost that. That's that cross experience between doctors and artists. Yeah, where maybe. A, a doctor says heal it this way. We're like, well, as an artist, right? I have a different experience, and I know this works very similar this way. And I can only assume it's because it's 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 uh, safer for the doctor to go keep that bandaged, mm-hmm. keep all the mm-hmm. crap off of it. It's going to take longer. It's going to hurt more. I don't care. I just don't want you to get sick. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to. Idiot you know what? It's kind yeah. of how the so, evolution of, of piercing aftercare has gone. Yeah. Initially, it was a lot about doing all these drastic things to make sure that you didn't get an infection. Right. And that's kind of the, the medical approach is we're going to do everything we possibly can to yeah. make sure that even yeah. though you're you're healthy and you have a strong immune system, mm-hmm. there's no possible way that you're yeah. going to get an infection. Right. So and I, so I get that, you know, yeah. um, but I, I was so used to healing skin wounds, you know, uh, dermal abrasions and that, you know, so it was way easier for me to keep 10% of my brain on it all the time, you know, right. because I'd done it a hundred times. Uh, but for, yeah, a normal Joe for Schmo, novice, who maybe yeah. that's their only tattoo, they've never really messed with it. It's a lot more tedious, and mm-hmm. you have to, you know, you have to mind it a lot more. You can't just stuff yep. it under a bandage and forget yeah. about it. Right. Um, but uh, if um, if you are, if you can do that, great. But for the average guy or girl, it's going to be safer, even if it does yeah. prolong the pain and the uncomfort. To do it the other way. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know what it would be now. I would assume, you know, if it's only getting better, it's going to cause less uh, damage. Uh, damage to your skin. I imagine you would hope it would heal better and it would be, yeah. you know, a lot less invasive yeah. and painful. And, and, and so. one of the main advantages of it becoming more um, accessible mm-hmm. is those that have gotten tattoos in their youth that are negatively affecting them for employment yeah, or right. gang affiliation. Mm-hmm. or racist affiliation, mm-hmm. they can easily remove those. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've always thought that the Iowa law should be changed uh, to allow minors by court order if they have offensive tattoos or crime-related mm-hmm. tattoos to have them removed. I think yeah. it was Texas or Oklahoma that did that. Yeah, I've heard of that. Uh, same thing. Uh, I've heard of uh, places doing uh, towns, st- uh, counties, whatever. Uh, they'll do a chunk of time or whatever where – if you want this tattoo removed, you go talk to them and, the, you know, they'll, but, you know, they open up these windows and they have this money set aside to oh, do that, yeah. mm. to give people kind of a fresh yeah, start, to erase community. that crap that they thought was cool. Yeah, you I mean, know? everybody makes a mistake yeah, during yeah, yeah. that two months or two <laughs> years that they were a total screw up, right, which right. we all went through that in one mm-hmm. way, shape or form. Right. So the only difference is we don't have a 13 or whatever tattooed on our necks. Right. All right. Do you, you think we've hit that pretty hard? I think so. I think we've covered it. And you know what? I'd like to say, though, if anybody out there has had removed 
removal done, especially like with the Pico laser yeah. or anything, yeah. and you're willing to share your experience, yeah, please do. Because yep. I've it down in the comments. That's what the comments yeah. are for. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Or if let we us didn't know. Cover something yep. that you have a question about. Right. In the comments. Yeah, because like Jimmy said, you know, we put them on, and we, you know, we don't take them off. Um, and really, the only knowledge we get is knowledge that we get from our clients that experienced it, or if we have, mm -hmm. or if we go out and actually search for that yep. information. Right. So if you've been, if you've had any kind of, if you've tried the lotions or anything yeah let us know. post that because man that's going to help some people out yep. that are kind of you know thinking about yeah, yep. information you know the heart of this channel is us sharing that information that yeah. we've learned yeah, mm -hmm. because we've learned it, it from other people yep. so yep. it's passing it along paying it forward etc absolutely and we Still love it i, I you know i love started. going to the comments and people have answered other people's questions happily prove oh, yeah. us wrong when they do it correctly say something right yeah absolutely don't <laughs> please uh you know don't be shy. No, we no. want to hear from you. Um, Absolutely. And because you're only going to help us, and then we can turn around, and you might not have a, a, a platform that you could spread that knowledge, but we've got a time. You know, we're working on one. We're working and, on you one. know, your Give experience. A few people shout outs for their things. Yeah. Well, your experience could help out. someone else and, yeah. you know, keep them at a harm's way. Mm -hmm. Why would you not? And yep. I'm always happy to learn new stuff too, personally. Yeah, absolutely. Know. And that's part of the body art yeah. industry. There it is. And the, yeah. the little family we all belong to. Indeed. Well, uh, you've either been watching or listening to Q&A in the Kitchen. It's the podcast and YouTube series um, it, that comes out every other Sunday. We do the video version, then we do the uh, podcast version. You can find this wherever podcasts are at, and you can also find this on YouTube, of course. Uh, if you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Share it with everybody you know that might be interested. Also, um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell if you're on YouTube. If you're elsewhere, you can subscribe right there. Spotify, uh, iHeart, uh, iTunes. iTunes. Every... Do you think anybody's still listening? Oh, I'm sure they are. Yeah. But mm, anyway, I hit, I hit like next right okay. at this point. We gotta start. <laughs> we gotta start hiding stuff at the end. No, and people you know. try that. It doesn't really work. I'm like, or, I'm for or that. Or it could be the really annoying ones that they, this is who we are. Okay, before we get any further, let yeah, me, let me blah, 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 yeah. for 15 minutes. That's and you're like, Zip. yeah, yeah. there's no right way to do this. Um, well, also, check out, our, check out our merch <laughs> store. <laughs> links, <laughs> links in the description. Until um, next time, here's hoping all your piercings and tattoos heal with ease and without a single issue. And if you're the Des Moines, Iowa area, we hope to see you for your tattooing and body piercing needs in the future. Stop Have a good day, everybody. Thank Have you a good for Christmas, watching guys. or listening. Spread some love, Later, you guys. people. Be nice to each other. <laughs>